Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back to talk about all of the fragrances that I wore last week. So I actually have a ton this week. I wore so many fragrances, so I'm gonna jump right in. So the first one I wanna talk about is this one here. This is Ajmal Violet Musk, and this is one that I tested. I really wanted to test it to see if this is something I would want a full bottle of. And as much as I loved this, um, I don't think I would want a full bottle of it. Um, it only because the violet and the kind of powderiness wears off and it dries down to be just an oud fragrance, which is beautiful, but I don't need any more ouds in my life. I've got plenty of ouds and it because because the parts of this fragrance that I loved so much, which was kind of that powdery violet, um, because that actually ends up wearing off um, and you're left with just an oud fragrance, it's not one that I would want to purchase a full bottle of. Is it beautiful? Absolutely. Um, would I recommend it? Absolutely, especially to somebody who's looking for a really beautiful oud, but just for me and my collection, I don't need it. But it is a gorgeous fragrance and it's an absolute beast. This is one you're gonna get, I mean, you could easily get 24 hours out of this fragrance. Like it will last um, and it will stay on you until you wash it off. It's that persistent. So anyways, that is Ajmal Violet Musk. Really, really beautiful. I'm very glad that I finally gave it a good wear test. The next one I'm gonna test, and it'll be in next week's, what I wore last week is Shine. Um, the one that is an absolute dupe for Absolutely Blooming from Dior. Um, I will give that one a good wear test and I will update you guys on that one next week. Okay, next I wore one of my House of Glory fragrances. So I ordered some of the body emulsions and the body creams along with the matching perfume sample uh, just to see, you know, just to test them. This fragrance in particular is called Honeysuckle Lemon Curd and oh my gosh, you guys. This is the most beautiful, like floral, bright lemon fragrance I have ever smelled. And it's an absolute beast. I'm used to lemon fragrances just not lasting at all because, you know, it's lemon and they just, it doesn't stick around for long. I mean, I put it on in the morning and I could still smell it at, I put this on at when I took a shower in the morning and I could still smell this at nine o'clock at night. It was just beautiful. It was also one of those situations where every time I moved, I could smell it. My The lotion was like in my clothing and then the perfume, and the perfume is beautiful too. Oh my gosh, and is an absolute beast. Yeah, this, this honeysuckle lemon curd is absolutely gorgeous, and I would recommend it to anybody. Oh my gosh, who's looking for a really beautiful citrus fragrance? And you can really smell the honeysuckle too. The honeysuckle is so prominent. Oh my gosh. It's, it's so good. It's just so good. So yeah, I'm excited to use up the rest. And a little goes a long way. Like I still have a ton of this little lotion left. And these are so, they're samples and they're little, these little guys, they're so affordable. I just, I love this little indie house. Um, again, this is called the House of Glory, and this is lemon, honeysuckle lemon curd. They're just amazing. Okay, next I wore a Zara fragrance. I pulled this out for a, I think a transition fragrance video, and I couldn't put it back until I wore it. And I absolutely, I forget how much I love this fragrance. So this is Orchid from Zara. There's something about this that I just love. It reminds me a little bit. It reminds me a little bit of Paris Hilton Platinum Rush. Oh my gosh, it's just beautiful. It's like a bright, slightly sweet, clean, shampooy fragrance. It's so beautiful, and it's actually not a bad performer. Now, it definitely did wear off, and I definitely did end up applying something else that day, but I mean, I could smell this for a good four hours at least, and it'll last on clothing a lot longer than that. So yeah, it's just beautiful. It's just, it's, um, I don't know. For being a Zara fragrance, it's a really, really good one. And yeah, I don't know if they have this one anymore. I think they do, but 
I'm not quite sure. I need to get on Zara's website. There are some new ones on there that I really want to pick up. But anyways, that is Zara Orchid. Oh my goodness, you guys, this next combination. Holy cow. This is one I said I was going to do and I did it and it was amazing. This combination was such a beast too. There was no like spray something on later with this one. So I used my, this is my Sugarworks Beauty Lab oil in the fragrance called Chai Creme Anglaise. And oh my gosh, it's the most beautiful creamy chai, like marshmallowy whipped cream chai. Oh, it is so good. And then I layered my Parfums Wheel Sookie Essence over it. Oh, it was amazing. And the Sookie Essence is just kind of slightly woody and spicy and so beautiful in this combination. Like, I could still smell this on myself after I'd worn it all day, gone to sleep, and woken up the next day. I could still smell this combination. It was amazing. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite oil that I've ever gotten from this Sugarworks Beauty Lab. It's called Chai Creme Anglaise, and it is an amazing oil. Think of like marshmallow and chai. That's what it smells like. So anyways, that is a beautiful combination that I wore. I was so happy with that. Next, I was on a layering kick this week, a super layering kick, because next I wore another oil perfume combination, and that is I wore the Eilish perfume with this oil here. This is called Smells Like Bang. This is another one that you can find on that Estero website. Um, this is like a cotton candy. The Smells Like Bang is, it's like a beautiful, light, slightly sweet kind of cotton candy scent, but it's super light and like, I don't know, pretty unassuming. It's not like an in-your-face cotton candy scent. It's very like delicate and light smelling. And I really just put this one on to see if I could get the Eilish to last a little bit longer, which it did help. Um, it didn't, like the Eilish still, I couldn't get more than like about four hours out of this, but I'm waiting for this one. It does seem like it's, this. it definitely does seem like it's changing. It's, I don't know, it's definitely getting a little bit kind of deeper and a little bit more interesting smelling. So I'm excited to let this one sit and to see if it changes even a little bit more, which I think it will. Yeah, I'm definitely liking it a lot more than I did when I first got it. And it definitely was really beautiful layered over the it Smells Like Bang oil. I definitely feel like it helped this one last a lot longer on me. I'm also excited to try this in the heat. It doesn't seem like it's a fragrance meant for warm weather, but I don't know. I'm excited to give it a go in the heat to see exactly, you know, how it performs and if I like it any better. But yeah, that was a great combination. Smells like Bang Oil and Eilish was a really good combo. Okay, next, this is another fragrance. This should have been in my uh, video that I just did about, yeah, which you guys probably won't have seen that video yet, but I just did a video about fragrances, like winter fragrances that I won't be putting away, that I don't put away. I wear them all year round. This is one of those fragrances. This is Pink Sugar from Aqualina, and oh, I love this fragrance. This never gets put away. I will wear this in the heat, in the cold. It doesn't matter what time of year it is. I will always wear pink sugar. It's just a beautiful ugh, burnt sugar, caramel, yummy fragrance. I need to buy a backup bottle of it because I'm getting like, yeah, this one's getting, it's not low, but it's low. It's below my comfort level. Like I feel like I need a backup bottle at this point. But anyways, yeah, I adore this fragrance. This is pink sugar. This is an absolute beast. It'll last 12 plus hours. I mean, it lasts forever on me. I really want to get the lotion to layer this over as well. I just think the lotion would be amazing. So anyways, yeah, that's pink sugar. Okay, next, this is another one that will stay out and that I that, sits, that lives on my desk because I wear it so often. Um, and it's one that I will be keeping out all year, even though it's more of kind of a cold weather fragrance. This is from Women's Secret, and this is called Oh My Secret, and it's, 
It smells exactly like YSL Manifesto. In fact, I've been reaching for this instead of Manifesto, I guess just because this is a lot cheaper and um, my one bottle of Manifesto, well, I've got two bottles of Manifesto, but my the bottle that I've gotten used right now is getting kind of low. So I just find myself reaching for this and it's perfect. It's beautiful. It smells exactly like Manifesto. And it lasts a really long time too. This It's not like the best performer in the world, but I can easily get a good four to six hours out of this before I would need to reapply, which for me, for a you know a less than $20 perfume is perfectly acceptable. So yeah, I love this one. It's again, it's like a perfect dupe for YSL Manifesto. So if you're that, if you're one of those people that just doesn't want to you know, spend that much money on Manifesto, which I completely get because it's very expensive. Um, yeah, you can definitely go for this and you will have the exact same experience because it smells so, so much like it. So anyways, that is from Women's Secret. It's called Oh My Secret. Okay, next I wore a fragrance that my beautiful friend sent over to me. Um, she just sent me a box full of the most yummy spices and chai masala tea and a strainer and she just sent me the most beautiful box and in the box she sent this gorgeous fragrance this is from a house called authentically me and it's called violet chai now she sent a decant of this over to me first and i fell in love with it yeah and because i loved it so much she sent me the full bottle which i was so so grateful for because I really do love this. It, it smells exactly like the name suggests. It smells like uh, beautiful, light, very slightly powdery violets and a really light, delicate spiced chai. It's amazing. I love it. I've never really smelled anything else like it. And that's part of why I love it so much because it puts these two things together that I love so much, violet and chai, and it's just beautiful. It's a really, really gorgeous fragrance. You can find this on eBay for like, I don't know, $29. Ah, and I, there's something about it that I just love. It almost reminds me of plastic dolls in a way too, like old toys from the 80s. I get those kind of vibes from it too. I don't know, there's something almost nostalgic smelling about it and something that I just adore. So anyways, thank you to my love for sending that over. I am, I'm so happy to have it. So anyways, that is from Authentically Me and that is called Violet Chai. And then last but not least, this is another oil that I pulled out for a video about fragrances that are great for new moms. And this one is called Smells Like a Stero. And this is basically like a white musk. Yeah, it's a beautiful, light, delicate, very clean white musk fragrance. And I love it. I love it so much. And really delicate is the word. It's a very delicate white musk. It's one of those fragrances that's almost like you almost can't smell it on yourself but other people can smell it on you and you just smell clean. It's beautiful. It melts right into your skin too. It's just, it's really, really gorgeous. I don't know how long this lasts. Usually when I wear this, um, I'll reapply it like three or four times in a day just to like refresh it. Um, so yeah, I feel like it's not the longest lasting thing in the world, but it's totally worth it. It's really inexpensive, like $13 or something. And they also make a spray now, which I saw. Um, yeah, and I think the spray would be amazing to have to layer over this. And again, it's really affordable. I want to say it's like $30. So anyways, that is a really beautiful, clean musk fragrance called Smells Like a Stero that I love. And that is going to be it, guys. Those are all of the fragrances that I wore last week. I do hope that you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.